can you kind of look forward 10 years and, and what do you see yourself wow. doing? Because by that time, Megan will be 20. You see oh her gosh. at Stanford? <laughs> uh, if she wants to, it's really interesting with, with my children because, uh -huh. um, you know, I, they both play basketball, YMCA basketball, and I'm coaching. Um, I'm assistant coach. I don't like to be the head coach anymore. I'm assistant coach, uh -huh. so I don't have all the pressure on me um, with their teams. And, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, ask Meg what her favorite sport is. She's so basketball. But I think she says it because I play basketball, and she knows that. But I really try not to, I mean, she's only 10. I, I don't really, you know, if you like basketball and you want to practice, I'm there to help you if you like something else. She's much more musical. Mm -hmm. She's much more, you know, drama, <laughs> those kinds of things. So that may be her thing. So, you know, 10 years from now, you know, I'll probably have two in college and two in high school. And, you know, it'll be very different. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. It'll be probably a lot of running around to sports things. Because I do, even though, you know, I don't know if they'll play basketball, they're definitely athletic kids yeah. and uh, inclined for sports. Now you've, you've got your four kids, you're CEO of your own little corporation, <laughs> but you also have kind of sought some other balance, right? So you're doing some work mm -hmm. at uh, Stanford. What's that about? So um, I was wanting to work part time, and my kids, my kids are getting a little bit older. Not that you know three is you know old, but, but um, they're out of diapers. Yeah, yeah they're out of diapers. <laughs> Um, I just needed something for me, you know, because you're so focused on your kids and you kind of lose yourself a little bit. So I said, well, you know, I really love being over at Stanford, but I know coaching is just too much time away. And, but, you know, I wonder what's going on over there. So I got involved with, first with Buck Cardinal on the Buck Cardinal board with the fundraising. So that sort of got me back over at Stanford. Going, well, I know what's going on and what's going on with fundraising and all that. Met the new athletic director. So kind of got in there, and um, then I went to Beth Good, who's the SWA now, uh, the Senior Women's Athletic Director, and I said, you know, wow, if there's ever anything that comes up, you know, let me know. Um, and so some things came up, I think I applied for a job that was full-time and said, oh, you should make this part-time, and <laughs> split it up, and they were like, no, we're not going to do that. Um, so they knew I was interested, and then um, the NCA recertification, so every 10 years, um, uh, any school that belongs to the NCA has to be certified and it's just a way for the NCA to make sure that you're compliant and all these different aspects um, and so uh, it's like a big research paper so uh, they asked me if I wanted to be the recorder uh, and what the recorder does and you know in the end basically I take what all these subcommittees write and answer to the questions that the NCAA gives them and I make it into one big document and put it on this web-based system that the NCAA has. But it also entails make, keeping all the groups sort of moving forward. I help uh, you know, schedule all their meetings and they're gonna have food at their meetings. I do that kind of stuff. I answer any other questions. I'm in contact with the um, NCAA, our liaison from the NCAA, if they have questions or don't understand something. Um, so Does it's been very NCAA educational. NCAA ask you to ask questions of these committees? Well, what it, they actually have a huge document. It's called the Self-Study Instrument. Okay. And what it is, it's broken down. Um, we have five different groups. So there's rules compliance. There's academic integrity. Uh, there's gender equity. There's race, ethnicity. And there's student-athlete well-being. So in those five things, they have about 10 questions, 10 to 15 questions each. It depends on how big it is. Um, 10 to 15 questions each, and they give them those questions, and you have these groups, they meet like once a month, and we talk about, they kind of look at, look at the questions, and they, um, they assign questions to people in the group, and then they have to go out and get the information and write their drafts for it. Um, and so, yeah, it's a lot of different things. We did a big student-athlete survey that I'm just finishing up. We paper surveyed all like 800 varsity wow. athletes. So between myself and LaDoris Cordell, who is the chair of oh, okay. this whole thing, mm -hmm. um, kind of went around and did that to, to get those surveys. So, you know, things, kind of things like that, um, that that's part of my job. Uh, but it's a part-time, it's a 20-hour a week, and it's great because I'm learning so much. I know, you know, about the athletic department and how things work and what the rules are and all those kinds of things and all the different aspects. Um, so I'm enjoying that immensely. Mm -hmm. And then the final, the culmination of this work will be uh, submitting it back to the NCAA. Right, so you submit May 1st, we submit. And then um, once you submit it to the NCAA, then 
they you know read it, it takes them a few months and then they get back to you and uh, they have a response and then they may ask you to do certain things and then you respond back and then in the fall next fall we will have a visit from a peer review team mm -hmm. so it'll be you know probably a president of some other university and other higher ups in athletic departments and such and they will come here and basically check our work oh. <laughs> they'll come and look at um, check up on things that we did, talk to people in the athletic department, talk to student athletes, like a three day visit. And so I have to plan that as well. Um, so they come in and then they do that and then they give their recommendation, what they saw. And then we get our final recommendations and then they, uh, then we kind of rebuttal again, I guess. And then at the very end, um, we are certified. Oh, okay. So it takes, it's an 18 month process. Wow. So we won't be certified till February of 09. And this is going on at other colleges as well? Yes, okay. yes. Everyone has to do it every 10 years and they have it kind of cycled so they have so many schools doing it oh, okay. um, at different times. So you got this part-time job then for another how many months? <laughs> for another, yeah, about another, another year, year, about another 12 months okay. and it'll be over. And do they have any nicknames for you on this committee? No, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Well, Doris Cordell might, but I don't know. She doesn't tell me to my face. <laughs> well, you said your one of your nicknames was uh, Mama, Mama Ann. Mama Ann. What what other were some of the nicknames when you were playing? Because everybody seems to have a couple of them. Um, Angela Taylor was Hops because she got Hops because when she injured her knee, she had to do these drills where she hopped on these boxes. And it's just, you know, some names, they just kind of stick. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. So Hops. You know, I still call her now Hops. Yeah. You know, she knows it's me <laughs> when I call her. Molly was mutant uh -huh. because she had, if you ever looked at Molly's legs, they kind of, they're very bowed at the bottom and she's got really funky feet. Uh -huh. And so mutant kind of stuck with her. Jennifer's was bag lady. Bag? B-A-G? B-A-G. Bag lady. Mm -hmm. And if you had one word to describe your experience, here at Stanford, mm -hmm. playing basketball, mm -hmm. doing the ac academics, but mm -hmm. mostly on the basketball side. Well, can you can you think of one thing that could one kind word? Of, well, it's hard to, to put it all into one word. Um, well, use a couple. <laughs> use a couple. Well, I mean, for me, it was it was life changing, um, definitely from where I came from until where where it ended. Uh, it's definitely life changing. Um, and I, spectacular, I mean, that's a great word for it. It was spectacular. You know, all the hard work, it paid off. And um, being with the kind of people that, that I got to be around. And in Stanford, you know, working on this NCAA thing, there's still those people here now, the yeah. athletes. You know, I'm starting to meet some of them and other people in the athletic department who are new. It, it's, it's the same, you know, it's the same kind of feeling. And that's why People love to come to Stanford, you know, the athletes come and why they're so successful. It's a special place. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, you're I welcome. Thank you for having me.